Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Talon, the Blade's Shadow. Talon is a melee assassin. He utilizes stealth, speed, and a wealth of crowd control effects to take down his opponents one at a time. Talon's passive is Mercy. Talon deals bonus damage to enemies who are slowed, stunned, or rooted in place. Noxian Diplomacy causes Talon's next attack to deal bonus damage and inflict a bleed on the target. This bleed deals damage and reveals the target over the next few seconds. Activating Noxian Diplomacy resets Talon's attack timer, so using it immediately after landing a basic attack will increase your damage output. Rake sends out a wave of blades that return immediately after. These blades damage and slow all enemies they encounter. Cutthroat causes Talon to blink to target enemy. Immediately after blinking, the target is silenced and receives bonus damage from Talon for a short time. Shadow Assault is Talon's ultimate. On activation, Talon sends out a ring of blades and turns invisible. While invisible, Talon enjoys bonus movement speed. After a few seconds, or after attacking a target, Talon reappears and the blades rush back to him. These blades damage all enemies they hit, both on the way out and back to Talon. I face Needily in top lane. I generally have enough mana to constantly harass with Cutthroat, Rake, and Noxian Diplomacy. I focus on killing minions but always jump on her whenever I can. Once she gets low, I use Shadow Assault to catch up to her. Walking past her, Shadow Assault and Rake deal a ton of damage. Afraid she'll retreat, I take her down with a flash and pick up the kill securely. As I attempt to get back home, Lee Sin comes to gank me. Check out how I escape. I jump to him with Cutthroat when the minions arrive, so he can't slow me yet. Then I immediately land Rake and keep running. I then move so that the caster minions block his chance at landing Resonating Strike. Once he breaks free, I know that he will immediately toss it out, so I juke to the right and make it out safe. We get into a teamfight in the jungle. I hop onto Needly and burst her down, immediately using Shadow Assault to evade any counterattacks. I head over to Vayne, eventually taking her down with Rake as she runs. Afterward, I'm afraid of Alistair, so I tag him with the Silence from Cutthroat and then move on to take down Lee Sin. We get into another teamfight in the river. Alistair gets caught and dies quickly. We push onto Kale, and when I get kicked out by Lee Sin, I chase with Flash. Taking down Kale, I move on to find Vayne. I know we'll win this fight, so I'm trying to clean up kills. I use Cutthroat to prevent her escape, but she flashes first, which results in me dying. Our opponents make a comeback and have taken down some of my teammates. Thankfully, Talon shines brightest when your opponents have no cooldowns. Right away I jump Needly because she's low and a large damage threat. I then misclick and exhaust Alistair instead of Vayne. Thankfully, Jarvan knocks her up and we get both kills. After, I move on to Kale, who has no chance to escape thanks to Jarvan's exhaust. Lee Sin joins the fray who gets greedy when he sees Jarvan get low. Greed causes his demise and I get a quadra kill. Because Talon has good burst damage, he works really well in coordinated ganks. As Warwick and Twisted Fate get into range, I jump in with Cutthroat and take her down with Break and Noxian Diplomacy. As an assassin, you have to do a good job of estimating your opponents. Making a wrong move will get you killed for no benefit. Here I've been harassing Needly and I think I can kill her. Unfortunately, as I dive her on the turret, she gets healed by Soraka's wish and exhausts me, preventing me from dealing enough damage to kill her. I'm not sure if I could have flashed out, but either way, I should have known both Exhaust and Wish were up. Talon does have some sweet escape tools. I get caught by Brand and Needly. Instead of panicking and flashing right away, I just pop Shadow Assault, using the movement speed and stealth to create a gap. Needly does chase me, so I finally do flash over the wall to make it out. I push Needly to her turret and use Talon's largest burst combo. I flash into range and use Cutthroat. First, I hit her with Rake, giving me two damage amplifications. Then I pop Shadow Assault and immediately attack, causing the blades to hit her twice while I deal bonus damage. I didn't even land Noxian Diplomacy and still dealt over 500 damage in an instant. Shadow Assault has a number of clever uses. I see Misfortune out of position in mid. I lead with Cutthroat, then Rake, so that my passive will give me extra damage for Noxian Diplomacy. Then I pop Shadow Assault and wait for cooldowns. Warwick does show up to kill her, but I could have taken her down with the second half of Shadow Assault and the freshly cooled Noxian Diplomacy. Assassins also have to pay attention to crowd controls in large fights. While jumping out of Soraka with a silence from Cutthroat was probably the best target, it was also right next to the enemy Warwick. He tags me with an infinite duress and suppresses me until I die. For runes, I take Armor Penetration Marks, Flat Armor Seals, Flat Magic Resist Glyphs, and Flat Health Regeneration Quintessences. 
This setup is aimed at giving me the best laning presence, which is Talon's biggest weakness. My masteries are 2109, taking pretty typical physical damage buffs, along with mastering exhaust and taking flash. I max Rake first for its increased slow and damage, which also allows me to farm minions really easily. I max Noxian Diplomacy after, interrupted by a point in Cutthroat at level 3. Basically, I'm just trying to get as much damage output as I can early on. For items, I open with Doran's Shield. If you're having trouble early on, a Doran's Blade or two can hold you over while you build Berserker's Greaves. After, I grab Yomu's Ghost Blade as soon as possible, and transition into my bigger damage items with Bloodthirster and Infinity Edge. There are two items that I consider must-buy on Talon. Frozen Mallet will slow enemies on every attack, which guarantees your passive damage increase. Quicksilver Sash is the only way for you to remove exhaust, so if you get stopped by enemy summoner spells, make sure to grab this item. Thanks for tuning in to the Talon Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel up top, and leave us a comment just below the video.